Great finds today. I got this case in. You wonder what's in the case. Could there be treasures you don't know? Let's find out together. It has a nice little clip here. Oh boy. These are cassette tapes. Cassette tapes, of course, you use these to play in your guitar and your boom box. The radio that's about as big as the Empire State Building and as loud as World War II. Everything. These are all 80s, it looks like. Different genres. Now, most cassette tapes are worth zero if you're lucky to get a quarter for them but there are some that have some value and they do add up maybe at two three dollars a piece but look at all these it's got plus it has this cool case it's like a 1980s ipod this is how you carried your music around now the rock sells the best but there are some different ones that people like and and if they have an older car still has a cassette player they want to play some music and they want to get nostalgic this is what they do let's go through them Let's see, Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Put them on the map. Now, if you see here, this one has a barcode, so that's how you know this isn't one of the record club where you get 10 free cassettes and you only have to buy three more at $30 a piece. Best-selling albums by superstars like Billy Joel, Barry Manilow. That's what they used to do, and those are BMG, but these are actual ones that someone bought in the store. Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. Let's see, we have... We have Salt with uh, Pepper Deadly. I'm not sure what this one is. So I know who Salt and Pepper is. And there's three of them. I don't know which one's Salt, which one's Pepper. It's sort of like Run DMC. I was never quite sure on all those. This is an original one. Salt and Pepper. Some nostalgic things there. Okay, here we go. MC Hammer. Now look at him there. He looks so dashing. You can't see his pants, but if you did, they'd be absolutely huge. This is MC Hammer. He got his nickname because he looked like Hall of Famer Hank Aaron. He was a bat boy, I believe, for the San Francisco Giants. MC Hammer's still around today. Still, he's actually in a few commercials. His pants are smaller. Now, this is this is another one that could bring a little bit of money. Lies, lies, lies. Oh yeah, it's GNR Guns N' Roses. See, they've got the thing there. This is they had the this is the clear. That was cool when you had a clear cassette tape back then that is guns and roses this is the rolling stone steel wheels not one of their most popular ones but it's still the rolling stones steel wheels and they even had the cover on the back there to see that so you could cover everything else to try to mix things up bruce springsteen the boss born in the usa lyrics enclosed lyrics enclosed there's a lot of, oh that doesn't look like the lyrics. Maybe, maybe it's. Oh, there they are. You can sing along with the boss if you have a magnifying glass. Thank you, Bruce. I think that was very beneficial to someone who wanted to listen to Born in the USA. Let's see what else we got here. Great White, once been twice shy hair band. There we go. A clear one, an original one that is going to make a difference. Oh, good old Lita Ford. She was like the heavy metal. She It was a hair band, but she also already had the hair. She was, there's Lita. She is actually still touring. See, there's the non-clear cassette tape. That is also from BMG. Lita, you can still go see her today. She's not going to look like that. Warrant Cherry Pie. Oh, this. This right here. See this? Parental Advisory Explicit Lyric. You, it's outrageous, filth. And if I could find some way constitutionally to do away with it, I would. This was the greatest marketing tool for all music sold after this sticker came out. There was there was no restrictions on it. You could there was no age limit on it whether you could buy this. But this sticker was put on just to tell kids this is the one you want. It's warrant cherry pie. The sticker, the, this with the sticker is worth more than without the sticker. But that's cherry pie. It is a clear one. Another hair band. Oh, there's the talking heads. Stop making sense. I think this is Psycho Killer. Should be Psycho Killers on here. One of the greatest bass riffs you will find. It's a clear one. Kind of a new wave. Bon Jovi. No one's bigger than Bon Jovi. Especially in about 86, 87. This is Slippery One Wet. This is probably his best, most successful album. A lot of songs you would know on there. Not clear. Neil Young, this person 
Got a little older rocker. There he is. Oh, he's got a nice blue. He's got the blue over there. Neil Young, Freedom. Thank you, Neil. Oh, kind of embarrassed that they bought this because this is actually Millie Vanilli. These are all the songs. These are not the singers. Although they didn't win a Grammy. Hey, I, I don't sing. I'd like to win a Grammy. They won a Grammy. I think they gave it back. I think one of them's no longer with us. I don't know if it's Millie or Vanilli or Vanilli or Millie. Don't know. Let's see what else we have. Another Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi, New Jersey. Of course, that's where he's from. And yeah, not as successful. But hey, you bought the other one, you might as well buy that. Oh, Restless Heart. I don't know what this is. Wheels, the rock and roll. This might be. I don't even know what that is. But I'll have to listen to it on the way home. Huey Lewis in the news. Yes, Huey Lewis in the news. Extremely popular, especially in the mid-80s. They did some soundtracks like you might recognize their song from Back to the Future. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud. That's Huey Lewis. The news is in the background. You can see him back there. I don't know what happened to the news. I know Huey's still around. A little Billy Ocean. Billy Ocean suddenly. Not a clear one. Full, full tip. Oh, this is a... This is a um, compilation. Compilation. You can see the different different songs here. The Tide is High by Blondie. So you're going a little bit further back. You know, shame probably a lot. Hit me with your best shot. Pat Benatar. Pat Benatar and Devo are on the same cassette. That's probably be pretty rare to find Devo, Pat Benatar, and Blondie all in the same. Here we are. Some Cool. Oh, there's the B-52s. It's a B thing. They've got the blue. See what you did there? Nice. Bob Seger. Everyone loves Bob Seger. He probably has more songs than you would ever know. Bob Seger has been around. He still sells out today. Great, great artist. Now we're going a little R&B with Al B. Sure. Private Times and the Whole Nine. Contains bonus tracks. Well, if it's on every album... So maybe this has a bonus track. Sometimes cassettes or albums had bonus tracks, and they would they would actually sell for more. I'm not sure on this one. Corey Hart, he's known for one song, Feel the Fire. He wears his sunglasses at night. He does not in this one. So no one probably bought this. I believe he's Canadian. The Vaughn brother, Stevie Ray Vaughn. There he is, tragically killed in a helicopter accident. But there's Stevie Ray. Oh. There, there's nothing to say here. Still relevant today. Fine Young Cannibals. Oh, yeah. She Drives Me Crazy. That was their song. Kind of a one-hit wonder. The Commodores. Oh, we love the Commodores. Commodores had a lot of great hits. There's Lionel Richie right there. When he was still with the Commodores. Stereo cassette. This is an older cassette. Because this is a stereo cassette. Still Motown Records. Then you have a compilation of the Beatles. Beatles still popular, as you know. Going a little Grateful Dead. This one looks like it went on tour. Well, Grateful Dead built to last. If you like the Grateful Dead, everyone had that phase. Oh, new edition. Okay, this is maybe one of the original boy bands there. And in here, where is he? It's so small, I can't tell. One of those is Bobby Brown. Yes, Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown, that's where he got his start. He's with New Edition. I don't even know if this is when he was with New Edition. But Bobby Brown got his start there. That's how he met Whitney. And we know how that story ended. Oh, I don't be cruel. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, Bobby. And a one-hit wonder. Tone Loke. He did Funky Cole Medina. There it is, right there. Very popular song, Tone Loke, kind of a rapper, so to speak. I don't know if you'd even consider him that today, but Tone Loke. So what can you do with all these that you can't do with things today? First of all, you can carry around this big, cool case. Yeah, but this is what you do to make mixtapes. You take a song off this, this. We know what song we take off. This. 
Oh yeah. Maybe a little, little R and B. There's only one song we take off of that. We want to rock it out. But you'd make a mixtape for the one you love. Pick out the songs. You didn't have an iPod. You didn't have iTunes. You had to buy each and individual one. Now these aren't worth a lot, but collectively they can be. The hard rock ones sell for more, especially like Kiss albums and different things like that. Those sell pretty good. You can sell these online. They're not a lot of money, but they do add up. So don't throw stuff away because you're just throwing money away. Right, Rick? Thanks for watching, Great Finds. Please like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.